Hallelujah, for He is unchangeable, He is unshakable, and He is unstoppable, God. Hallelujah. i 
praise, O oh God. Hallelujah. Magandang hapon sa ating lahat, mga kapatid. At ganun din sa nanonood sa live stream sa oras na ito. Good afternoon. Hallelujah. Praise God. And sabi sa Psalm 100, Hallelujah. Magkaingay kayo ng may kagalakan sa Panginoon. Kayong lahat na lupain. Mga glingkod kayo na may kasayahan sa Panginoon. Magsilapit kayo sa kanyang harapan na may awitan. Alamin ninyo na ang Panginoon ay siyang Diyos. Siya ang lumalang sa atin. At tayo kanya. Tayo kanyang bayan at mga tupa ng kanyang pastulan. Magsipasok kayo sa kanyang mga pintuang daan na may pasasalamat. Sa kanyang looban na may pagpupuri. Mga pasalamat kayo sa kanya. At purihin niyo ang kanyang pangalan. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sapagkat ang Panginoon ay mabuti, ang kanyang kagandahang loob ay magpakailanman at ang kanyang pagtatapat sa lahat ng salit-saling lahi. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, mga kapatid, sa oras na ito. Hallelujah. Purihin ang ating Diyos na nag-iisang Diyos na may kagalakan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I pray, Panginoon, O God, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lumalapit kami sa iyo, Panginoon, sa oras na ito, Lord. Hallelujah. Nang may kagalakan at pagpupuri sa iyo, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Salamat, Panginoon, sa kabutihan mo po sa amin, Lord. Salamat po, Panginoon, dahil safe po kami, Lord, na nakarating sa iyong samba, bahay sambahan, Lord Jesus. Salamat, Lord, na patuloy mo kaming iniingatan, Panginoon. Hallelujah. Kadalangin ko, Lord, sa oras na ito, Lord. Hallelujah. Let your Holy Spirit build upon this congregation, Panginoon, O God, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lahat ng may karamdaman sa oras na ito, Panginoon, Lord, ipagkalaw mo po sa kanila, Panginoon, O God. Hallelujah. Nang healing, Panginoon, O God, Jesus. Hallelujah. Kahit din sa mga nonood sa live stream, Lord God, ipagkalaw mo po sa kanila, Panginoon, O God. Ang Hallelujah. Ang healing, Panginoon, O God, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. I'm amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Pwede na tayong makaupo, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. At sabihin mo sa iyong katabi, It's good to see you in the house of the Lord. Lahat ng mga pinagpala, sumigaw ng thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Praise the Lord. Dahil may dalawa po tayong praise report sa hapon na ito, nagaling sa District 6. Una, si Sister Arlene Amar, ang sabi niya, pasasalamat po ako sa ating Panginoon sa kabutihan niya. Noong September 2, celebrate ng amo ko ng kanilang birthday at sabay silang mag-asawa at isinama ako na mag-dinner sa Shangri-La, Sentosa, unlimited seafood for three hours. Thank you, Lord, sa favor na makakain sa ganong lugar. Alam ko, may magsasabi, sana all. But be careful sa pag sana all. Sabi niya, dugtong niya rito, but after a week, bigla pong sumakit ang legs ko at namaga na rin. Hindi ko rin may hakbang sa sobrang sakit. Naalala ko last year na nagpa-check up ako sa Pilipinas about my shoulder pain. At nirisitahan ako ng doktor ng gamot na pang gout. Mayroon po siyang gout. So nag ang amo ko, bakit hindi ko raw sinabi na mayroon daw akong gout? Eh yung seafood na kinain namin ay bawal daw doon. <laughs> September 11, pinapunta ako ni amo sa clinic to check my blood. September 13, kinuha ko ang result. At glory to Jesus, sabi niya, everything is clear. Praise the Lord. Walang gout. Hindi rin mataas ang aking uric acid, ang blood sugar, pati ang cholesterol ko ay okay din, sabi niya. Sabi ng doktor, muscle pain lang daw, ayun. <laughs> Nangyari sa pa ako, kaya praise God, sabi niya. Salamat sa Panginoon, sa protection, 
niya dahil yung ininom kong gamot sa pang gout for one month ay wala naging side effects sa aking kalasugan. Kaya lahat ng papuri at pasasalamat, binabalik ko sa ating buhay na Diyos. Hallelujah. Sabi niya, Praise God. Hallelujah. Kaya be careful tayo sa ating mga kinakain mga kapatid minsan. <laughs> Pangalawa na praise report galing kay Sister Rhea May Bautista. Pag nandito ka si Rhea, magsabi ka praise the Lord. Wala. Sabi niya rito, binabalik ko ang papuri at pasasalamat sa Panginoon. Una, pinasasalamatan ko ang Panginoon sa favor dahil nakapunta dito ang aking asawa na smooth ang travel niya. Safe po siyang nakarating dito sa Singapore at wala rin naging problema sa immigration sa atin sa Pilipinas. Noong uh, October po ito last month, nakapunta dito ang kanyang asawa. Pangalawa, sabi niya, pinasasalamatin ko sa Panginoon na binuksan niya ang unawa ng aking asawa about sa true gospel. Dahil noon, pumunta kami dito sa church, ay encourage ko siya na magpabaptize. Pero decided siya na hindi daw magpabaptize. I just prayed for him na ang Diyos na ang bahala sa kanya. Because nothing is impossible with God. And truly, God is good, sabi niya, dahil hindi kalooban ng asawa ko ang nasunod, kundi ang kalooban ng Diyos dahil itinanggap niya ang bautismo sa pangalan ng ating Panginoong Isus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Truly, ang ating panalangin, mga kapatid, ay napaka-importante sa ating Panginoon. Praise God. Awit mo na. Truly, God is good, mga kapatid, dahil may sampu tayong bisita sa araw na ito. Praise the Lord. So, sa aming mga bisita sa araw na ito, welcome po kayo dito sa Joy Fellowship. Tabernacle of Joy, mga kapatid. There is joy in the house. Amen. <laughs> That joy is comes from the Lord Jesus. And I want also for our special guests sa, sa araw na ito, That God doesn't work by coincidence. Or maaring naisip nyo na nandito kayo dahil nagkataon lamang. But it's not, mga kapatid. Ay mga mahal naming bisita. I believe that today is His appointed time for you to know that He has a great plan in your life. All I know and I believe that, and everyone here will agree with me, that our Lord Jesus loves you. So sa aming mga mahal na bisita, anyayahan ko po kayo dito sa harapan para kami ay amin kayong ipanalangin ng pagpapala. At i-assist kayo ng mga magaganda nating usher. Kay Lina, friend of Maribic Cabaleda. Kay Abelita, friend of Nena Gregorio. Kay Eleanor, friend of Sis Virgie Manil. Kay Rika, friend of Sir, Sis Virgie Manil. Kay Vanessa, friend of Rosalina de Guzman. Kay Janine, friend of Angelita Gonzalez. Kay Jonah Grace, friend of Rose Fabuan. Kay Krisha, friend of Chester Ilagan. Uh, kay Janeline, friend of Gregor, uh, Sis Nena Gregorio. Kay Janet, friend of Sis Maribi Cabaleda. Praise the Lord. At may isa pa pong ba, uh, additional. Kay Christine, friend of Sis Mary Rose Ramos. Truly, God is good, mga kapatid. Welcome po sa Joy Fellowship. At ang inanyayahan ko po ang mag-welcome ang first row.
Salamat Panginoon sa oras na ito na nakasama namin. Oh God, ang mga special guests namin sa araw na ito, Panginoon. Lord, you know their needs. You know, oh God, hallelujah. Ang mga bagay, oh Lord, na dinodulog nila sa iyong harapan sa mga oras na ito. At ikaw ang aming Diyos na mabuti. Ikaw ang aming Diyos na mapagmahal. Ikaw ang aming Diyos. na nagliligtas, Panginoon. Here they are, O God, sa iyong harapan. Nilalapit po namin sila sa iyo. For we do believe, O God, na ikaw lamang ang katugungan sa lahat ng kanilang mga pangailangan sa mga oras na ito. We pronounce blessings sa kanilang buhay at dalangin din po namin, O God, that you open, O God, their understanding sa mga plano mo pong magaganda sa kanilang buhay, Panginoon. We do believe, O God, Hallelujah, na ang bagay na ito ay tatanggapin nila sa araw na ito sa pangalan mo, Jesus. O God, ang bautismo, O God, sa tubig, O God, at ang banal mong Espiritu, Lord, na regalo mo po dahil ito ang pangako mo po, Lord, that you never leave us, so God, comfortless, but you have given your Holy Spirit, O God, to guide us and to guide them, Panginoon. At ito ay matanggap nila sa araw na ito, God, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, and we bless your name, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let us all say, God bless our guests. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the Lord. And today, is we are going to celebrate the November celebrants. Mari muna po kayong makaupo, mga kapatid. Uh, birthdays is a celebration of life. It reminds us how good and faithful God is in our lives. And what a joy to celebrate birthdays with Joy Fellowship family. Amen po ba? So sa lahat ng may kaarawan ng November, uh, binabati po namin kayo ng happy birthday. Rejoice for this is the day. the Lord has made for, for you all. At kami din ay nagagalak para sa inyo sa araw na ito. So, sa lahat ng mga birthday celebrants, iniimbitahan ko po kayo dito sa harapan, sa mga designated districts nyo. Kahit hindi pa pumatawag yung pangalan nyo, is pwede na po kayong pumunta. At sa mga magbibigay ng gift or flowers, ay pwede na po rin po kayong magbigay. Praise the Lord. At amin kayong ipapanalangin ng blessings. Okay? District 1. Happy birthday to District 1. At sa lahat ng mga bisita na may birthday, pwede rin kayo pupunta. Los Pimenta, Aquino, Abigail. Nelia Rongilio, Mar- Merlin Mangol, Rosby. District 1C, District 1D. Virginia Marasigan, Juna Agag, Mary Grace Garson, Christine Emerald, Domingo, Rosan Huyo, Delilah Juan. District Todd, Sis Rani Domingo. District 2A, Sabina Javier, Lorna Batuyon, Lailani Miko, Andresa Lardera, Aurea Makale, Este Marie Frondarina, Florenda Mangao, Evangeline Valenzuela. Praise the Lord. District 2B, uh, Rofa Agpawa, Marie-Chris Olicia, Nerisa Jerez, Mira, Mira Flor Laglag, and Christine Galon. District 2C, Elsie Miranda, Abigail Bermas, Maribel Regalario, Elisa Navarro. Happy birthday! District 2D, Rebecca Abad, Marilo Tormis, Janica Azores, Clarissa Alagna. District 3A, Lizelle Sagaral, Gemaline Torinan. Karen Constantino, Dinesa Ogalesco, District I, Don Servant, Lynn Venos, District 3B, Antonieta Digap, Lovena, uh, Ami Raina, Sir Yan Lee, Alivio, Jocelyn Berlera, District 3C, Daina Garino, Sally Bukok, 
District 4A, Lee Jaluan. District 4C, Los Viminda Cuenca, Leia Floriano, Jessa Joy Domingo. District 4D, Luella Bernal, Leiden Halde, Bostarde, Rotris Ampasis, Loreta Moraga, Reina, Lucina Arlene Mendoza. District 5A, Daisy Nolar, Delia De La Cruz, Lesfield, Brignas, and Zone Servants, it's Nemia Visco. District 5C, Noveva Toledo, Juana Bermodes, Joliet Baguio. District 5D, Wilma Nimbra, Nieva Duestua, Ruena Celera, Emalin Gaspar, Jingjin Cabansag, Lolini Sungkan. District 6A, Gemma Dumol, Ellen Galawan, Maria Victoria Morata, Nena Gregorio, Amber Galon. District 6B, Cheryl Gilaran, Dilma Piang, Jovelin Pascual. Happy Birthday! District 7, Fishers of Men, Ronio Olarte, Jonathan Thailand, Salvador Labuta Jr., and uh, Diolanda Pingol, Amor Kamba, Charmaine Sambrano. Uh, J20, Charmaine Saginit, Marvick Morales, Jerwin Ogoy. Joy Kids, Sela Isabel Thomas. And Seed of Joy, Flor Delisa Andres. Praise the Lord. Truly, God is good, mga kapatid. At ating awitan sila ng... Ay, Joy Fellowship. Joy Fellowship, Sis Elena Lo. Uh, happy birthday po. Uh, atin silang awitan ng happy birthday. Ay, sorry. <laughs> okay, pag-pray muna natin sila. Yes, Lord Jesus. Salamat, Panginoon, sa buhay ng aming mga kapatid. Salamat sa kanilang kalakasan. Salamat, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sa another year na idinagdag mo po sa kanilang buhay full of your Holy Spirit, O oh God, full of joy, full of strength, Lord. Patuloy, O oh God, na pagpalain mo po ang kanilang buhay. Ingatan mo po sila, Panginoon. At patuloy, O oh God, na Ikaw ang maiglorify sa lahat ng kanilang mga ginagawa. That they may continually grow in grace, O oh God, and in love to You, Jesus. Salamat, Lord. Hallelujah. Sa kadakilaan mo po sa kanilang buhay, we entrust them unto Your hand, Lord. Jesus, and we plead your blood, hallelujah, to every one of them as they take another journey of their life, Lord Jesus. Salamat, O Lord, sa iyong kabutihan at patuloy nilang alalahanin that you are always with them, Lord, na magpapatuloy sila hanggang sa iyong muling pagbabalik, Panginoon, Jesus. Hallelujah. Salamat, Lord, and all the glory belongs to you, O God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Amen. Sis Maya. Happy birthday, November celebrant! Pakisabi sa ating mga katabi, mga kapatid, willing ka ba? Sabi sa Exodus 35 verse 21, Then everyone came whose heart was stirred, and everyone whose spirit was willing. And they brought the Lord's offering for the work of the tabernacle of meeting, for all His service and for all the ho holy garments. Napakaganda ang, is ang chapter na ito mga kapatid. Kung babasahin natin ang buong chapter na ito mga kapatid, mababasa natin kung gaano pinagpala ng Panginoon ang ang descendant ni Moses sa Old Testament which is ang tabernacle na uh, present nila na maayos which is binigay nila ang kanilang mga 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 golds ganun mga linens kung babasa ng buong chapter mga kapatid which is sa kapanahunan din natin ngayon naniniwala ako mga kapatid yes. na kung meron kung anong meron tayo ngayon sa ating mga buhay 
is pwede nating ibigay sa Panginoon ng may kasiyahan, ng may walang grudges na nararamdaman sa ating puso. At na napagpapalain din tayo ng Panginoon, kagaya ng pagpapala na, na, na kami ni Moses that time. At naniniwala din ako mga kapatid, sa kaparaanan na ito ay pwede natin maibigay, hindi lang pera mga kapatid, kundi ang talento natin, ang knowledge, ang karunungan na mayroon sa atin mga kapatid. At naniniwala ako sa ganitong kapamaraanan mga kapatid, is lalo natin may palaganap ang salita ng Panginoon sa mga sa mga meron sa atin, hindi lang sa pera mga kapatid. At kung ikaw kapatid, ay willing na magbigay, tayo po ay tatayo. Ay. <laughs> Sorry, nakatayo na pala kayo. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen, Lord. Tayo po ay manalangin at ipanalangin ang ating tithes and offering. Yes, Lord God, Ikaw ang aming tinataas muli, Lord God, sa hapon na ito, Lord God, Jesus. Marami pong salamat, o Lord God, sa kalakasan namin, sa provision namin, sa mga trabaho namin, o Lord God, Jesus, para may, may balik namin, o Lord God, ang pagpapala, ang para sa iyo, o Lord God, Jesus. Marami pong salamat, o Lord God, sa aming mga employers, sa mga kampanya na pinagtatrabahuan ng aming mga brothers and sisters, O Lord God, na siyang dinadaluyan ng aming mga pagpapala, O Lord God, Jesus. Lord, gamitin mo ang tithes and offering ng mga ito, O Lord God, upang mabot, O Lord God, ang mga bansa o saan man sulok ng mundo, ang mga naghahanap, O Lord God, ng katotohanan patungkol sa iyong salita, O Lord God, sa mga taong uhaw at gutom ng iyong mga salita, O Lord God, Jesus. I-bless mo, O Lord God, ang bawat kamay na magbibigay at sa mga hindi pa nakaunawa, O Lord God, Jesus, ay ipaunawa mo si ang kahalagaan ng tithes on offering, O Lord God, Jesus. Marami pong salamat, O Lord God, and we give you back the glory and honor and adoration in your most wonderful name, in Jesus' name, Amen. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Lahat po tayo ay humihinga. Amen! So lahat tayo magpuri. Isat aside natin ang anumang problema at magfocus sa pagpupuri sa Panginoon. Hallelujah!
praise is to our God, hallelujah, which means that every clap, every shout, every thump, every run belongs to Him, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, every worship, every praise belongs to You, for You are our Savior, our healer and deliverer, hallelujah. Thank You, Jesus. Every praise is to our God, every word of worship we want to hold. Every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah, it's to our God. Glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, it's to our God. Praise is to our God. 
saying that you are God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. As we lift up our hands and we sing with our voices. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you, O oh God. Every time we see your glory. Yes, oh God. Every nation bow before you. All the treasure turn to ashes in the light of you.
to worship hallelujah the king of kings and the lord of lords hallelujah let's continue to love him adore him hallelujah let us give our praise hallelujah hallelujah oh we love you jesus oh god for you are our father who sits on the throne hallelujah hallelujah jesus you are the same god hallelujah hallelujah and we believe that you are in the midst of us so oh god oh yes lord god hallelujah oh come on church let us give hallelujah the best worship to the king of kings and the lord of lords yes church
Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Let your spirit, oh God, hallelujah, move in a special way, oh Lord Jesus. Oh, I believe, Lord, you are going to feed the hungry, Lord God. You're going to feel the thirsty, oh Lord, hallelujah. Oh, satisfy the longing of our soul, oh God. Hallelujah, we are your people, oh Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Be sensitive, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. Be sensitive for the moving of God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Mm, Jesus. Jesus. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh, Lord. Fall afresh, oh God. Hallelujah to each and every one, Lord. Blessing and glory and honor and praise be unto your name. Hallelujah, move, oh God, in a special way. That's it, continue to focus on the Lord. God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are our Jehovah Jireh, Jesus. You are, oh God, hallelujah, our hope. Spirit of the living God. Jesus. Yes, hallelujah, our God is real. My God is real. He is real to us today. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I can feel you in my soul. I can feel you, God, hallelujah, in me, Jesus. You have made us whole, O oh God. You have forgiven us. All that come to you, Lord, with a contrite and humble spirit, O oh Lord, you will not, O oh God, in no wise cast out. Oh, I thank you for your love, Jesus. to you, Jesus. Continue to close your eyes.
Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, clap your hands, oh, you people. Oh, clap your hands, oh, you people. Hallelujah. 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 And shout unto God with a voice of triumph. forevermore hallelujah 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 praise God hallelujah isn't the Lord so good mga kapatid amen hallelujah pwede na kayong bumalik sa inyong mga upuan but be con- continue to be sensitive to the working of the Holy Spirit Praise God. Sige, pwede na kayong humupo, mga kapatid. Parang automatic na tata kayo eh. Jesus. May tatlo tayong bagong kapatid. Sister Marivic Agbayani, will you come forward? She is a friend of Editha Kabalan. And her group cell band will be Sister Rosalie Fisco. Will you come forward, Sister Marivic? These are our new sisters Newly baptized in the name that is above every name. Sister Janine Apari, friend of Angelita Gonzalez. Magiging group servant niya, Sister Florentina Bro- Brosas. Praise God. And Sister Avilita Gregorio, friend of Nina Gregorio. Magiging group servant niya, Sister Florentina din, Brosas. Amen. Tulungan niyo, Sister Florentina. Amen. Praise the Lord. Panalangin natin ating mga bagong kapatid. Panginoon, marami pong salamat kay Sister Marivic, Sister Janine, Sister Avilita. Ikaw po, Panginoon, ang tumawag sa kanila. Patuloy niyo po, Lord God, hallelujah, na patunayan ang iyong kapangyarihan, Lord God. Confirm your words into their lives as they obey you, you Panginoon. Hallelujah, Jesus. Patuloy mo po silang gawing pagpapala sa kanilang pamilya at kaibigan. Pangunahan, Panginoon, sa mga lahat na bagay, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. At ipadama niyo po ang pagkakaiba ng iyong kapangyarihan at pagkilo sa kanilang buhay mula sa araw na ito, Panginoon. Lord, samahan niyo po sila, O Diyos. Salamat, Lord. Hallelujah. At nasaksihan namin ang iyong dakilang kapangyarihan na kumikilos patuloy sa aming kalagitnaan. Hallelujah, Jesus. Makikita po ang pagkakaiba ng iyong pagkilos, Lord God, at pagbabago sa kanilang buhay, Panginoon. Tulungan niyo rin po sila, Lord, may bahagi ang iyong salita sa kanilang pamilya, sa kanilang mga kaibigan, Panginoon. Gamitin niyo po sila, Lord, sa iyong kaharian at dalangin namin magpatuloy silang maglilingkod sa iyo hanggang sa iyong pagbabalik. In your mighty name, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are brothers and sisters. If you are baptized of water and of the Spirit, mga kapatid. Praise the Lord. Will you stand for the reading of the word? Sana hindi ko na kayo paupuin. Amen. Full house ako, but I believe the Lord has a message for us. Alam kong liliko minsan ang uh, direksyon ng pangangaral ng Panginoon, dadaan kung saan, daan hindi, naisip na dumaan. But I believe God has a word for each and every one of us this afternoon. May salita po ng Diyos sa bawat isa sa atin sa hapon na ito. Praise God. So kung saan man liliko, mga kabatid. Damputin mo lang ang para sa iyo. Amen. And I believe God will speak to us this afternoon. Hindi makadali ang minsaheng ito dahil uh, nung Merkulis ko pa ito or Webes na pinagbubulay-bulay marami ng revisions, pang ilang revisions na ito mga kapatid, but I believe the Lord will speak to each and every one of us. Pray for us uh, dahil uh, pauwi kami ni Sister Nance uh, this coming Wednesday pupunta sa may mga business na gagawin mga kapatid sa foundation natin at saka sa gawain din doon sa Pilipinas. At bukas din, panalangin nyo ang uh, ano nga bukas? 
annual planning or meeting ng inyong mga leaders para magplano tayo for next year. Praise God. Psalms 137 verse 1 to 6. Nandiyan ka agad, no? By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept. This is in King James Version. When we remembered Zion, we hang our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. Verse 4, How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Sa Tagalog, nang maalala namin ang Zion, umupo kami sa pampang ng mga ilog ng Babylonia at umiyak. Isinabit na lang namin ang aming mga alpa sa mga sanga ng kahoy. Pinaaawit kami ng mga bumihag sa amin. Inuutusan nila kaming sila ay aliwin, ang sabi nila. Awitin o awitan ninyo kami ng mga awit tungkol sa Zion. Ngunit paano kami makakaawit ng awit ng Panginoon sa lupain ng mga bumihag sa amin? Sana hindi na gumalaw ang kanan kong kamay kung kalilimutan ko ang bumi ang ko ang Jerusalem. Sana ay maging pipi ako kung hindi ko aalalahanin at ituturing na malaking kasiyahan ang Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Ang pamagat ng mensahe sa atin sa hapong ito mga kapatid, three questions for every believer. Kaya nga hindi mahirap ito dahil tanong. Tanong ito para sa atin. Para sa ating mga mananampalataya. Panginoon, tulungan niyo po kami sa hapong ito, Lord. Mangusap pa sa bawat isa sa amin. At Lord, iparating niyo po ang iyong mensahe, Panginoon, sa bawat isa sa amin na wala pong hadlang, Panginoon. Sinasaway po namin ang hadlang. Ang kalooban mo, siyang masusunod, Panginoon. Bakuran niyo po kami sa hapong ito, Lord. Kumilos ka in a special way. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. You can be seated, mga kapatid, at palakpakan natin na malakas ang Panginoon. Yung natira mong lakas. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. A friend once asked Isidore Rabi, a Nobel Prize winner in science, how he became a scientist, a physicist. Rabi replied that every day after school, his mother would talk to him about his school day. She wasn't so much interested in what he had learned that day, but she always inquired, did you ask a good question today? So ang nanay ni Isidore Rabi, mga kapatid, itong scientist na ito na nakapanalo ng Nobel Prize, tinanong siya, mga kapatid, Kung bakit siya naging scientist. Are you following me? So sabi niya, ang nanay niya wasn't so much interested in what he had learned that day, but she always inquired, did you ask a good question today? Asking good questions, Rabbi said, made me become a physicist. Siya nag-invinto mga kapatid ng nuclear power. Amen. So anyone who desires to be fruitful and useful or a leader in the church or out of it must be like Mr. Rabbi and learn to ask good questions. Nagtatanong ba kayo ng mabuting tanong? It is even more important that we develop the skill of asking good questions of ourselves. We must continually examine our lives and hearts. Kailangan patuloy natin mga kapatid na suriin ang ating buhay at ang ating puso. 
David declared in Psalms 139, verse 23 to 24, Search me, O God, and know my heart, and try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. O Diyos, siya sa atin yung ako, upang malaman niyo ang nasa puso ko. Subukin niyo ako at alamin ang aking mga iniisip. Tingnan niyo kung ako ay may masamang pag-uugali at patnubayan niyo ako sa daang dapat kong tahakin magpakailanman. Petitioning or asking the Lord to search your heart and thoughts is simply a process of saying, Lord, help me to ask the right questions. Panginoon, tulungan mo ako magtanong ng mga tanong, mga, ng mga tamang katanungan. Praise the Lord. Asking the Lord to help you question your motives and ambitions is not a wrong thing. In fact, it is a godly thing. Makadyos yan mga kapatid na suriin natin ang ating buhay at ang ating puso. And from this questioning process, you will discover the strengths and weaknesses of your own heart and mind. This hopefully will lead you to work on the weaknesses and ask for grace to use your strengths in His kingdom. And if you know much about Old Testament literature or writings, you will know that a lot of times, especially in the book of Psalms that we have just read, that the stories were written as poetic expressions of personal feelings or emotions due to the circumstance or circumstances, good or bad, that was taking place in the writer's life. In the Bible, you discover that God has set standard of conduct for the Israelite people. He said, here's the law and you need to abide by it. He gave them the Ten Commandments. And other rules concerning their daily life. And he vowed that if they would obey, he would bless them. Watch over them. Provide for them. And put a hedge of protection around them. But he also said that if they choose to disobey, then he would punish them by pushing back the hedge of protection and allowing their enemies to pursue and claim victory over them. Well, we know that this became a harsh reality in their lives. Kaya nga kung bakit na isulat itong ating binasa kanina sa text natin. God said in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 and 20, If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Sabi dito sa Tagalog, kung kayo'y magkusa at mangagmasunurin, kayo'y magsisikain ng buti ng lupain. Ngunit kung kayo'y magsitangi at mangaghimagsik o magrebelde, kayo'y lilipulin ng tabak sapagkat sinalita ng bibig ng Panginoon. Sure enough, about 687 B.C., her came the armies of Babylon to conquer them, the Israelites. Israel felt like Jerusalem was the capital city of God. As a matter of fact, the name Jerusalem even means city of peace. Alam niyo ba yan? They were fascinated by the wonder of the temple and all other religious things there. But because of their disobedience, all of the sudden the Babylonians began burning buildings on fire. Tearing down houses, ripping up the land, killing some of the people and taking others captive, especially the high elected officials or the very elect of the nation. So now they sat there by the rivers of Babylon, a place that literally means place of confusion. Totally distraught over the fact they have lost everything they had. So think of me this afternoon, or think with me this afternoon at the atmosphere that would have 
permitted the air the day, that day. Praise God. First notice the posture of the Israelites. They were by the river. They were there as prisoners of war to be slaves in building the kingdom of Babylon. It must have been an extremely sad situation. Are you still following me mga kapatid? Yeah. Nasa tabi sila ng ilog. They sat down. That's their posture. They were not rejoicing and looking toward the daily task that lay ahead of them. They were just sitting. Amen. Enthusiasm was a distant stranger. At sabi sa, sa nabasa natin kanina, we wept. At they sat down by the river, their minds began to drift toward thoughts of home. Na homesick sila. They remembered Jerusalem and, they re, and as they remembered, they wept. Tabi sila ng ilog. Ewan ko anong klaseng pag-upo. For sure, hindi tulad ng pag-upo ninyo dyan. Nakalumpiga siguro mga kapatid. Huh? Praise God. At umiyak sila. Tumulo ang kanilang luha. Ano pa ang kanilang posture? We hang our harps upon the willows. They had brought their instruments of praise with them, but there was no reason to praise. Notice they did not throw away the harps but still had intention of someday using them again. Their hearts were heavy. Needless to say, the atmosphere surrounding the camp was quiet, was quite dis- depressing. Nanlulumo sila mga kapatid, nalulungkot, umiiyak. Everyone sitting around crying, lamenting their situation, and nothing can cheer them up. Of course, ang kanilang mga mukha, pag umiiyak ka, hindi madrawing. Wala namang umiiyak na umingisi. Except for tears of joy. Amen. What can we learn? Take a long look at this state of affairs of the life of the Israelites. Amen. If you can close your eyes, I can wait for you. Close your eyes. Stop for a moment. Amen. Imagine, mga kapatid, the scene. Ano, ano makita mo habang pinipikit mo ang iyong mata? Hmm. And then, think about your life. Have you ever found yourself in a similar situation? Na kung minsan, parang sasabog ang puso mo. Naglilinis ka man ng kubeta, pero tumutulo ang luha. Di ba? Minsan hindi mo alam ano ang iyong gagawin, ano ang iyong, hindi mo nga alam kung anong iyong kalagayan. Eh. Praise God. Have you ever found yourself in similar situation? Captive to situations? Gusto mo nang lumipat ng amo, hindi makalipat. Dahil nakailang lipat ka na. Gusto mong gagala sana sa sintosa, hindi pwede dahil wala kang pera. Ang nat- itabi mo, ang nasave mo, kakapadala mo lang, ubus pa. Seemingly no reason to rejoice. Tears that never seem to cease flowing. Namamalansa ka, hala. Instead, tutulo ang pawis tutulo ang luha at sometimes dito sa church praise is merely mechanical and not from the heart ba nagpupuri ka nga pero malayo ang puso mo sa pagpupuri dahil nagpupuri ka pero nagdadalawang isip ka amen naranasan natin yan mga kapatid we've all been there amen kahit dito sa ministry sa church kahit sa paglilingkod natin sa Panginoon even in our service with God, mga kabatid, anyone who has a passion for ministry, anyone who has a passion for ministry, for their family to be saved, amen, for their children to serve God, or a particular godly cause, mga kabatid, and in disappointment, 
Sometimes we have experienced, mga kapatid, the same emotions that the Israelites felt. Praise God. We feel as if everything has been stripped away from us and we begin to lose hope. In these times that a child of God and even leaders, especially Christian leaders, have to begin to ask themselves some questions. And we can extract three questions from our text. Nasa introduction pa lang ako, by the way. <laughs> Here are the three questions for every believer. Number one, do I have my dream? May pangarap pa ba ako? Do I still have my passion? Amen. May pag-ibig o may passion pa ba ako? Do I still have my praise? Mayroon pa ba akong papuri? Praise God. Yan ang mga tanong na dapat nating sagutin bago mag-alasing ko. <laughs> Totoo. Bago tayo alis dito mga kapatid. Amen. Alam ko nag-celebrate ng birthday ang iba. Ewan ko pang ilan na. Ang alam ko lang si Sela. I think si Sela. Terrible twos na. Praise God. But first, we need to answer this question. Do I still have my dream? May pangarap pa ba ako? Tanungin mo ang katabi mo, may pangarap ka pa ba? I think all of us here, may pangarap pa dahil nandito pa tayo sa tahanan ng Diyos. Amen. Just like Joseph of old, we have, been, we have all been given a dream. God has delivered into your spirit a purpose that you are keenly aware of and think about. Katulad ni Jose, noong unang panahon, lahat tayo ay binigyan ng pangarap. Kung bakit tayo narito is dahil sa pangarap na yan. Amen. At hindi lang yan, mga kapatid. May kasama yang layunin ng Diyos. Praise the Lord. Dreams are wonderful. Pangarap, dreams, hindi ito panaginip, ha? Pangarap. Dreams are wonderful in that they often take us to places to which we can no longer travel. They take us back to our childhood with all of the innocence and carefree times. They also allows us to protect our, to project ourselves into the possibilities of great tomorrows without the burdens of today. Dreams are defined as those things for which we hope and long to obtain. They include our ambitions and aspirations. Amen. Praise God. It started like so many evenings. Mom and dad at home and Jimmy playing after dinner. Mom and dad were absorbed with jobs and did not notice the time. It was a full moon and some of the light Sip through the windows. Then mom glanced at the clock. Jimmy, it's time to go to bed. Go up now and I'll come and settle you later. Unlike usual, Jimmy went straight upstairs to his room. And an hour or so later, his mother came up to check if all was well. And to her astonishment, found that her son was staring quietly out of his windows at the moonlit scenery. What are you doing, Jimmy? I'm looking at the moon, mommy. Well, it's time to go to bed now. As one reluctant boy settled down, he said, Mommy, you know one day I'm going to walk on the moon. <laughs> Who could have known that the boy in whom the dream was planted that night would, would survive a near fatal motorbike crash which broke almost every bone in his body and would bring to fruition this dream 32 late years later when James Irvin stepped on the moon's surface. Just one of the 12 representatives of the human race to have done so. Praise God. Walang iba itong bata, mga kapatid, kung hindi si John Irvin, mga kapatid, na kung saan nakapunta talaga sa buwan at naapakan ang buwan, mga kapatid. 
nagsimula sa pangarap. Amen. Kumusta na ang pangarap mo? May pangarap ka pa bang pupunta ng langit? Every believer has a dream. First and foremost to be with Jesus in the place called heaven. Ang rason kung bakit tayo patuloy na naglilingkod sa Diyos dahil gusto nating makapiling ang Diyos sa kalangitan. At sa ministry, alam ko may mga pangarap ang bawat isa sa atin. Ang iba gusto mangarap na maging pastor. Ang iba nangarap na maging Sunday school teacher. Ang iba nangarap na kung ano-ano ng klaseng pangarap. Pero maganda yan, basta sa Panginoon. Ang iba nangarap that they want to begin a ministry. Praise God. May pangarap pa ba? Nandyan pa ba ang pangarap natin, mga kapatid, na maligtas ang ating buong sangbahayan? Yeah. Amen. Have you, are you still dreaming of raising your children or raising children who serve the Lord? Yeah. Praise God. Everything begins with a dream. Yeah. Lahat na yan magsisimula sa pangarap, kaya tuloy tayong mangarap. Do I still have my dream? Amen. Sabi sa Psalm 137 verse 5, If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, kung kakalilimutan ko ang Jerusalem. Praise God. Hallelujah. Nandun pa rin ang kanilang pangarap na sa tamang panahon, babalik sila sa Jerusalem. Dahil may propeta na nagsasabi, 70 years lang kayo sa Babylon, babalik kayo sa Jerusalem. May pinanghawakan silang salita, mga kapatid. At tayo rin may pinanghawakan tayong salita. Hallelujah! Pangarap na galing sa Panginoon. Praise God! Hallelujah! As you face the inevitable problems of life and deal with daily disasters, you must keep your dream alive. Amen! When Israel found themselves captive in Babylon, they began to dream about a day they would go home. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sa mundong ito, hindi na natin alam mga kapatid kung kailan pa tayo mabubuhay. Hindi natin alam kung magpakawala na ng nuclear bombs. Sabi nga ng isang uh, kilala ko mga kapatid sa Pilipinas, sabi niya, kung ganito ang mangyari, maghukay na tayo. Let's go to the mountains. Dig a pit mga kapatid. Dig a cave or look for a caves. Magtago na tayo dahil baka magpakawala na ng mga nuclear bombs. Praise God. Pero sa anak ng Diyos, may pinapanghawakan tayo mga kapatid. Praise God. Hallelujah. Katuturo lang sa ating kanina, the coming again. God is coming back. Jesus will take Himself a bride at church mga kapatid. That means the rapture is getting close. Closer than yesterday. Closer than the days before. Amen. Hallelujah. Every brutal day of captivity was tempered only by the dream of seeing the city of God once again. Alam niyo ba mga kapatid, kahit na doon sila sinakop sila, binihag sila, praise God, nabubuhay pa rin sila sa araw-araw dahil sa pangakong babalik sila. Ewan ko lang kung 50 anyos ka na nung binihag ka papuntang Babylon. 70 years, binila mo, 120, wala na. <laughs> they, would, they could bear, bear the whip because they dream of going home. Amen. Kaya nga mga kapatid, kahit anong kahirapan, anong pagsubok, dahil may tinitingnan tayo, mga kapatid, na sa dulo nito may buhay na walang hanggan. Amen. Praise God. Kahit may latigo man. <laughs> latigo dito, ano kayo sa Tagalog yung latigo? Ah, latigo pa rin. Talaga itong muka ng latigo hindi nagbabago mga kapatid. Itong muka ng kahirapan. They could survive the cruelty of Babylon because they dream of Jerusalem. Child of God, do you still have your dream? Amen. Hallelujah. Our dreams provide motivation for the underlying purpose of God in our lives. At kung may pangarap tayo mga kapatid, it also give birth to vision. Kung bakit mga kapatid, medyo madilim na ang ating mga paningin dahil hindi na tayo nangangarap. Sis, 
Kailangan natin ng group servant. Madilim ang vision ko. Di ko nakikita sarili ko na group servant ako. Ayan na. Sis, kailangan natin sa ministry, we need someone to, to handle this ministry. Ha, ako? Do I still have my dream? Amen. I-assign ka ng leader mo. Pangalan ko ba yun? Baka nagkamali lang spelling, ipacheck sa office. Amen. Hindi na kasi tayo nangangarap. Yun yan, mga kapatid. Kung question ka ng question, madilim na ang iyong paningin. Bato-bato sa langit. <laughs> Hindi ako galit. Praise the Lord. I'm so sorry for the English speaking, but I still have to speak our language from time to time. Praise the Lord. Bakit hindi natin alalahanin muli? The former years. Praise God. Tingnan natin mga kasi, kasi kailangan din natin minsan tingnan eh. No? So that we can project and improve, mga, mga kapatid, the present situation para sa kinabukasan. Mag-ingat tayo. Praise God. There are plenty of dream stealers in the land. Kaya kung katabi mo, mag-second demotion ka agad sa, sa iyo. Oo nga, ubus ang pera ko dito. <laughs> ah, mag-ingat sa mga dream stealers. Praise God. Often they are disguised as well-meaning relatives and friends or sisters or in the brethren who want to caution you. Ang palagi nilang sinasabi, sige na nga lang. Hope for the best, but expect the worst. That's what they will do. What a ridiculous mindset. How can one be motivated by expecting, expecting what is not desired? Iba, paano ka ma-motivate kung palaging negatibo? Sa so, anong payo ko sa mga dream stealers? Don't listen to them. Kaibigan pa rin kayo, pero wag na kayong mag-usap. You can be, still be friends, but don't talk. And please do not allow the present conditions to vaporize your dreams. Amen. Dreams often contain our suppressed desires. Don't you know that desire is the primary ingredient for faith? Yung desire natin, ingredient pala yan. Sangkap pala yan ng ating pananampalataya. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. What is that? Desired. Amen. Things hoped for is desired. And the evidence of things not seen. Evidence of that which have not yet seen. The Amplified Version of the Bible uses the following language in Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is the assurance title did amen yun ang uh, ang uh, no ba yun sa, sa atin mga kapatid yun ang uh, yung yung lupa may titulo praise god faith is the assurance title did confirmation of things hoped for Divinely guaranteed. The things hoped for is divinely guaranteed na yan. Yung pag-asa natin, garantisado na yan. Amen. And the evidence of things not seen. The conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. Yun ang sabi doon sa Amplified Version. Faith does not ignore reality but allows us to fuel to move forward in spite of the limitation and obstacles in the way. Well, you say amen. amen. But what is it that keeps your dream in the forefront of your mind? That is passion. Passion is the foundation of seeing dreams become a reality. Amen. So if you see your dream dying, ask yourself another question. Do I still have my passion? Amen. Praise God. Excited ka pa ba papunta ng church? 
<laughs> Excited ka pa ba? Nai-assign dito sa pulpit kahit nanginginig ka dito. <laughs> Excited ka pa ba sa mga gawain mga kapatid? Excited ka pa ba sa chain prayer o baka patulog-tulog na lang? Amen. May kakaibang excitement sa gawain ng Panginoon. Tinatawag na passion. Amen. When God puts a dream in your spirit, He will also give you a passion to see it through. Kaya nga nung, nung lumalapit pa lang, tayo sa, pa lang tayo sa Panginoon, mga kapatid, kakaibang ating naramdaman. Parang gusto na natin na service araw-araw. Di ba? Tapos, ang service sa linggo, hindi lang dalawa, dapat tatlo. Hmm. Di ba? Yung naranasan natin pag DCD, parang ayaw na natin huminto. Maalala ko noon sa, sa, sa Grand Central Hotel Ballroom tayo doon, mga kapatid. Bago pa yung renovate ang Grand Central na yan. Doon kami dumadaan sa sentro, paakyat sa likod, dahil may restaurant doon at inuupahan yun. Praise God. Tapos ng service, 5 o'clock na, mayroon pang nakahandusay sa altar. Mayroon pang nananalangin. Mayroon pang nagre-receive ng Holy Ghost, kaya pumapasok yung manager, out, 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 out. Sabi namin, na yet lang, not yet. Dito lang kami sa gilid. Praise God. Paalala mga kapatid, do I still have my passion? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Moses was a man of passion. His passion for leading people out of captivity and in freedom allowed him the opportunity to see a dry sea floor and water in the desert. The beauty of dreams is that they may also include those things that may be difficult to obtain and far removed from the present circumstances. Such was the case when the people of the Lord were taken away captive from their own land. The experience was devastating. Many had died. Families and had been separated and scattered. Those who were children were now senior citizens. <laughs> and have never seen the city of David. May ibang, may iba mga kapatid kasi hindi lang naman doon sa lahat sa Jerusalem napakalaki naman ng lupaing iyon. Yung iba hindi pa nga nakapunta sa Jerusalem. Hindi nabihag na sila. It was indeed an unhappy time, unhappy time. It all seems to have been a long bad dream. The grief, sorrow, and humiliation would be forever etched in their minds. They had been saved by the goodness of God but could never forget the humiliation of defeat. They could not erase the hardships of the long journey. They would never forget the years of being homesick. That's why when we read the chronicle of their experience, We hear the loneliness and agony of their loss. Psalms 137 verse 1. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Amen. Nang maalala namin ang Sion, umupo kami sa pampang ng mga ilog ng Babylonia at umiyak. In their captivity, the view of free-flowing river caused dreams to come alive in their minds. They took a position of grief. They stooped down in a position of the mourners. They wept. They remembered the good thing of it. Is it the good of it was that they remembered. Amen. They recalled the joy and peace of home. You must have a visual image of what you desire before you can move forward. Mga kapatid, toward it. You can move toward it. Amen. Praise God. Ngayon ang tanong ko. Sa ngayon na, Ngayon na. What are the things that you cry about? Nga. Do you still have your passion? Ano bang iniiyak mo? Ano bang pinagtutuluan ng luha mo? Amen. Ano ang mga bagay na iniiyakan mo? Praise God. Alam mo, maraming, maraming, ito, liliko ako ng konti. There are many purposes for tears. Mm. Mayroon tinatawag na tears of sorrow. Um, 
depression or grief, tears of joy. Maraming purpose po mga kapatid. Praise God. Tears, but tears were the catalyst for restoration. Ang mga luha ay naging dahilan ng pagpapanumbalik. Bakit nabanggit ko ito? Dahil gusto natin manumbalik sa ating passion. Amen. The psalmist experienced the same dilemma, mga kapatid, because he has tears of desperation, worry, and extreme anxiety. Sa nasabi ko na kanina, my tears of joy, my tears of sorrow, my tears of compassion. Praise God. Ito, ito yung sinasabi ko is tears of desperation, mga kapatid. Pag-aalala at matinding pagkakabalisa. Na-experience ito ni, ni, ng psalmist or ni David, mga kapatid. Sabi niya, my tears have been my food day and night. Di ba? So in times of desperation, trust God and turn to Him. Hindi na natin basahin ang Psalms chapter 42 verse 3 to 5. Mayroon din tinatawag na tears of travail. Represent the experience of every mother who has given birth through the pains of labor and travail. It is the agony of delivery. The purpose of labor makes it worth the effort and struggle. The birth of the baby brings great joy. That's why kailangan din natin minsan sa Panginoon ang tears of travail because God wants you to give birth to great victory. But, of course, labor comes first. Amen. Kailangan may passion tayo mga kapatid. If you want to see something mga kapatid sa buhay natin, we need to check our passion. Yung iba passionate sa pagkain. Some, they are very passionate which, which, which stall or which uh, food stall or shop did open. Ang iba, passionate sa shopping. Ang iba naman, passionate sa gala. Hmm? Ang iba, passionate sa pera. Amen. Praise God. Pero ang, ang kinakailangan natin mga kapatid is tears of repentance. I believe ang mga luha nila doon, mga kapatid, noong lumingon sila, praise God, hallelujah, passionate sila, mga kapatid, na magbalik loob sa Panginoon. And this, are, this is the most important, uh, masabi nating uh, uh, tears, mga kapatid, that we will shed in our lives. Tears of repentance must be distinguished from tears of guilt. One can shed tears over a regretted regretted behavior but never changed behaviors through repentance. Tears of repentance represent regret over having offended our Heavenly Father. Maalala niyo pa ang simulan kanina mga kapatid? Bakit sila nabihag sa Babylonia? Dahil hindi sila nagmaging masunurin. Naging rebelde sila. So sa pag-iyak nila dito mga kapatid sa rivers of Babylon, I believe that is tears of Repentance. Praise God. And a broken spirit and a contrite or remorse, remorseful heart represent the true passion that accompanies repentance. Amen. Toward na sila sa pagbabago, mga kapatid. Amen. They have that desire na alam nila na kung manumbalik sila sa Diyos, ay papayagan na silang ibalik doon sa kanilang mga tahanan sa kanilang bayan. When true repentance takes place, a change will manifest. A new creature will emerge in terms of lifestyle. Amen. Dugtungan ko ito mga kapatid. Alam kong wala pa kong 30 minutos ng aral. In another psalm, the psalmist give additional insight into the meaning and power of tears, power of weeping, and power of passion. Psalm 126 was probably composed by Ezra at the return of Israel from Babylon. Those who are returned are called upon to be thankful. Those who still remain there were prayed for and encouraged. And here is the passage in Amplified Version. Psalms 126 verse 1. When the Lord brought back the captives who returned to Zion, well, that is Jerusalem, we were like those who dream. 
It seems so unreal. Nang muling ibinalik ng Panginoon sa Sion, ang mga nabihag, parang ito'y panaginip lang. Psalm 126, 5 and 6. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed of sow- for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Sila na nagsisipaghasik na may luha at magsisiani, ay may magsisiani na may kagalakan. Siyang lumalabas na umi- at umiiyak na nagdadala ng binhing itatanim, siya ay di sa salang babalik na may kagalakan na dala ang kanyang mga tangkas. Pay attention mga kapatid sa verse 5 and 6 na binasa ko lang sa Tagalog. You plant during the planting season. The planting of tears will be during the dry seasons in your life. Kaya pala pinapahintulot ng Diyos ang kahirapan ang kapighatian, ang problema, ang kalungkutan, pinahintulot na ng Diyos para magtanim tayo ng ating mga luha. Tears represent that seemingly endless period of a dream and the song. Tears represent the individuality of a traumatic experience. No one can shed tears for you. Only you can shed tears for For yourself. Alam nga naman, sige nga, lumuha ka para sa akin. Kasi tayo mga Pilipino, sanay na yan, ikain mo lang ako dyan. Marunong tayo mag-proxy, di po ba? O may ikakasal, sige, proxy ako. Sa Panginoon, walang proxy. Do I still have my passion? Amen. Walang proxy sa passion na yan, sa pagluha, sa pagiyak. Nagtatanim tayo mga kapatid. Towards a goal. Towards, mga kapatid, sa pagbabago. Amen. Hallelujah. Towards sa ating pangarap na ibinigay ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Amen. Tears are evidence of your involvement, whether directly or indirectly. Kaya minsan kung manalangin tayo sa para sa ibang bansa, lumuluha din tayo sa mga access nations, di ba? Dahil luha yan ng pagtatanim, mga kapatid. Kahit indirectly, wala tayo... <laughs> yeah, tama. Indirectly, wala tayo doon sa kanilang lugar. But believe it or not, mga kapatid, tears precedes deliverance. Kung you are losing your passion, tear, kailang mag-umiyak ka. Panginoon, sabihin mo, nasaan na ang aking passion? Praise God. Nasaan na ang aking pag-ibig? Nasaan na ang aking enthusiasm? Nasaan na, Panginoon, ang aking paglilingkod sa iyo? Ang mainit na paglilingkod. Unfortunately, many people try to suppress tears. Society had associated tears with weakness. To the contrary, anyone strong enough to be real with their emotions, emotions is on the road to deliverance. Di ba? Sino ditong nagsisi na hindi lumuha? Parang hindi passionate, hindi pagsisisi yan. Pero mag-ingat din tayo, maraming lumuluha, pero crocodile tears. Luha ng buaya yan, walang pakiramdam. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Are you, are you still with me, mga kapatid? However, deliverance is more than an event. It is a process. Tears become the outlet for the soul. They become evidence of the intensity of the situation. Amen. Lumuluha pa ba tayo mga kapatid? Na hindi paligtas ang ating mga mahal sa buhay? Lumuluha pa ba tayo, lumuluha pa tayo mga kapatid? Na hindi pa natin nakamtan ang, ang mga nais ng Diyos makamtan natin? Praise God. I think kailangan natin luhaan mga kapatid o iyakan. Praise God, ang ating building, puno na tayo dito. We are over capacity. We need a new building. Praise God. Hallelujah. Kailangan natin, mga kapatid, na lumago ang iba. Iyakan nyo yung new convert na lumago. Group servants, kung wala kayong magawa, kung wala kayong maisip gawin, anong gagawin nyo sa mga binigay sa inyo, walang response, kailang text ka na, 
Lumuha ka. Umiyak ka. Magtanim ka. Do I still have my passion for the things of God? The Psalms continue. Wala pang alas 5. Psalm 126, 2-4. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord hath done great things for them. The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Kami ay nagtawanan. Amen. At nag-awitan dahil sa kagalakan. At sinabi ng mga bansang hindi kumikilala sa Panginoon, gumawa ng dakilang bagay ang Panginoon sa kanila. Totoong ginawan tayo ng dakilang bagay ng Panginoon at punong-puno tayo ng kagalakan. Panginoon, muli niyo kaming paunlarin tulad ng tuyong batis na muling nagkakaroon ng tubig. Amen. Hindi ka na lumuluha dahil tuyo na. Amen. Kailangan mong lumuha, mga kapatid. Paunlarin tayo ng Diyos. Do I still have my passion? What are the things that make you stand up and take notice? Praise God. Kasama ang emosyon, mga kapatid, na ang ating passion. Amen. Tingnan mo ang taong antok. <laughs> Kaya nga, sabi ng Panginoon, Awake and shake. Amen. Gumising at magpagpag. Amen. Para, para gumising ba tayo, mga kapatid? Praise God. The dream the Lord gave you is going to require your passion to see it come to pass. Praise the Lord. Dream just don't come to pass. It takes work. Amen. People who have a dream to be rich have a passion for work and planning. Di ba? Mga taong nangangarap na yung maman, hala, wala ng tulog. Ha? Huh? Bawat tingin nila, naka-dollar sign. Naka-piso sign. Pagpikit ng mata, ganun pa rin. People who have a dream to own their own businesses have a passion to be their best in their field. Sige nung basa, sige research. Manood ng TikTok, manood ng YouTube. Mag-research sa Google. Kung paano palaguin ang negosyo. Amen. People who have a dream of building a healthy body have a passion for nutrition and exercise. Yung iba, gusto nila talagang uh, maganda ang kanilang pangangatawan. Lalabas ang kanilang mga muscles. Amen. Kaya exercise sila na exercise. Punta sila sa gym. Hindi sila kakain ng mataas ang kolesterol. But what are you dreaming of, people of God? People who have a dream to build a godly home have a passion for prayer and study. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. GM Power said the best way to make your dreams come true is to wake up. <laughs> passion begins when you wake up and realize there is a greater purpose for your life. Amen. To come to the understanding that God has placed His hand on you filled you with the Spirit and given you the gifts necessary to accomplish the dream He placed in your heart. Praise God. But what fuels your passion? Patapos na ako. It would be your praise. So ask yourself, do I still have my praise? Sinimula na tayo last week ng mga, ng mga, ng mga ngaral, mga kapatid. Rejoice. Amen. In the Lord always. Praise God. The hopes... And dreams of people are often shattered by the unexpected or the undesired events of life. Just like what happened to the Israelites. Amen. We have dreams that are interrupted by situations that result in tears, in weeping. But praise God, He gives us a song of hope and a predetermined purpose. The words of the psalmist say it best. Psalms chapter 40, verse 1 to 3. I waited patiently for the Lord, and He inclined unto me and heard my cry. 
He brought me up also of an horrible pit out of the miry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings, and he hath put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Ako'y magtiyagang naghihintay sa Panginoon at dininig niya ang aking mga daing para akong nasa malalim na lubhang maputik na balon. Ako ay kanyang iniahon at itinayo sa malaking bato upang hindi mapahamak. Tinuruan niya akong, tinuruan niya ako ng bagong awit, ang awit ng pagpupuri sa ating Diyos. Marami ang makakasaksi at matatakot sa Diyos at sila'y magtitiwala sa Kanya. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Psalm 137 verse 2 to 4. We hang our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there they carried us away captive, required of us a song. And they have wasted us, required of us mirth. Saying, sing one. Sing us one of the songs of Zion. And how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Ngunit paano kami makakaawit ng awit ng Panginoon sa lupain ng mga bumihag sa amin? The obvious le- lesson, mga kapatid, the obvious lesson here is to never give up your harp. Pwedeng isabit, pero huwag itapon. Amen. Kung minsan parang ganyan tayo, di ba? Parang nanulumo tayo. Naisip natin, hindi na nga ako maglingkod sa Panginoon. Mag-resign na ako. Discouraged ako. Uy, huwag mo na. <laughs> Sorry mga kapatid, nanaubo ako. <clears throat> praise God. The harp is the instrument of praise. It is symbolic of the instrument of your voice. Again, from Psalms 40, the writer emphasizes that when he was raised from the horrible pit, the place of bandage, and the miry clay clinging circumstances, God put a new song in his mouth. It is a song of redemption and hope and praise to Almighty God. Amen. So kung medyo dwindling na ang yung passion, mga kapatid, praise God, our prayer should be, Lord, give me a song of praise. Lord, give me a song of praise. Praise God. Hallelujah. After the reflection of dreams and the cleansing of the Spirit with tears, you must release a song. Neither the quality of, nor the lyrics are important as the type of song, but do not sing a song of grief. Sing a song of hope. Sing a song of faith. And sing a song of praise. Will you stand, mga kapatid? Don't you know that God designed you for praise? Yes. Amen. Nagsimula tayo sa pangarap at kailangan ma- ma-activate ang ating passion, mga kapatid. Praise God. Iiyak tayo. Praise God. Luha. Ma- tutula ang ating mga luha. Pero tayo ay designed for praise. You and I were made in God's image and likeness. Praise God. Don't you know that in heaven, mga kapatid, God has angels around Him throughout eternity releasing praise. It has been said that the clapping of hands by the saints is similar to the fluttering of the wings of angels as they fly and praise God. Ang tunog pala ng ating palakpak ay simbolo din ng pag- uh, Lipad mga kapatid at pagpupuri ng mga anghel sa Diyos. No wonder the psalmist encourages or encourages us to clap your hands. All ye people and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Ipalakpak ang inyong mga kamay, kayong lahat ng mga bayan. Sumigaw kayo sa Diyos na malakas na tinig ng kagalakan. Woo! Praise becomes our weapon of offense to accompany the sword of the Spirit which is the Word of God. 
One of the most powerful scriptures in the Bible challenges us to live a life of praise. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Sa lahat ng bagay, magpasalamat kayo sapagkat ito ang kalooban ng Diyos kay Kristo Jesus para sa iyo. Since God inhabits the praise of His people, our song invites the presence of God to manifest in our lives. So wherever you are, kung nanlulumo ka na mga kapatid, gusto mo na yung passion mo bumalik, kahit sa ang sulok ka ng kwarto mo, sa ang sulok ka ng, ng uh, bahay, o ng, ng Singapore, o, o saan ka man, sa Pilipinas, praise God. Purihin mo ang Panginoon. Magbigay ka ng papuri sa ating Diyos. Amen. The highest praise is more than the words hallelujah. The highest praise is also in our obedience to God. Praise God. In other words, in every situation, no matter how difficult, let us obey God. When faced with loneliness and mood shifts up to depression, obey God. Obey Him with service to others. Obey Him, praise God, to take care of yourself. Watch your health and eating habits. <laughs> Amen. That is also praising the Lord. Dahil instrumento tayo ng Diyos para abutin pa ang iba. Praise God. Praise God to strengthen the physical and the spiritual man and woman in us. Pray the prayer of Psalms 19 verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Maging kalugod-lugod nawa ang mga salita sa ng aking bibig at ang pagbubulay-bulay ng aking puso sa iyong paningin. O Panginoon, na aking malaking bato at aking manunubos. So watch Watch what you say and speak into your life. Let it be positive and make certain it gives God the glory. Amen. Do I still have my praise? Paul and Silas were in prison. Their backs were a mass of open sores and coagulating blood. Their hands and feet were in stocks. We could understand that they began to pray, but after they have prayed, they began to sing. What did they sing? I don't know. Maybe they sang, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Maybe they sing, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil, for you are with me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Hindi natin alam kung anong kanilang inawit, mga kapatid. Praise God. Praise God. But we need to give God the praise. Amen. You may have to praise God through tears, stained eyes. You may have to praise God through pain and suffering. You may have to praise God through some dark clouds. But keep on praising. Keep on pra praising. Even when you don't feel like it, do it in a way. Like Paul and Silas, you'll find the earth shaking and prison doors of fear and doubt swinging open to liberate you. When you look at your life and it seems everything is out of control and your passion is gone and your dreams is dying, it's time to praise God. It's time to begin to sing a song of praise and make a melody unto the Lord. Magtanong siguro kayo, bakit? Why? Because in the midst of problems, praise help us to get a proper perspective. Then we get our focus back to Jesus. Then, hallelujah, our dreams and passion will be activated. Through praise, our passion is renewed and our dream revives, enabling us to go back to accomplishing the dreams God has placed in our hands. I will end with Psalms 100, mga kapatid. This is our opening first. Kanina, if you are sensitive, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands. Nung binasa ko itong Psalms 100, mga kapatid, ang subtitle nito sa taas sa New King James Version, a psalm of praise. 
Psalms 100 is a psalm of praise. Make a joyful noise. And to the Lord, all ye lands, kayong mga tao sa buong mundo, sumigaw kayo ng may kagalakan sa Panginoon. Serve the Lord with gladness. Passion. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with thanksgiving. Woo! Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates, enter into His gates with thanksgiving, and into His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him, and bless His name. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. Basahin ko sa Tagalog at manalangin tayo. Kayong mga tao sa buong mundo, sumigaw kayo ng may kagalakan sa Panginoon. Paglingkuran ninyo ng may kagalakan ng Panginoon. Lumapit kayo sa Kanya na umaawit sa tuwa. Kilalanin ninyo, kilalanin ninyo ang Panginoong, ang Panginoon, ang Diyos. Siya ang lumikha sa atin at tayo'y sa Kanya tayo'y kanyang mga mamamayan na parang mga tupa na kanyang inaalagaan sa kanyang pastulan. Pumasok kayo sa kanyang templo ng may pagpapasalamat at pagbupuri. Magpasalamat kayo at magpuri sa kanya. Dahil mabuti ang Panginoon. Ang pag-ibig niya ay walang hanggan. At ang kanyang katapatan ay magpakailanman. Manalangin tayo mga kapatid. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, I, I will make a jo- I am making a joyful noise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, I will serve you, Lord, with gladness. I come before you, Lord God, before your presence with singing. Oh, know ye that the Lord... Oh, Lord Jesus, you are God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The altar is open, mga kapatid. Lumapit tayo sa Panginoon. Our first time guests, we invite you to come in front. Lumapit tayo sa Panginoon. At sa Kanya, umawit tayo, mga kapatid. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Kailangan nating lumuha din kung hindi pa tayo bahagi ng kaharian ng Diyos. Kailangan natin ang luha ng pagpap, pagsisisi. Hallelujah! Umiyak tayo sa Kanya mga kapatid. Pagsisihan natin ang ating mga kasalanan at pagkatapos mamaya. Hallelujah! Aawitan natin siya, purihin natin siya. Sige altar workers, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Usher them, our first time guests, into the presence of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tayo ay kanyang mga mamayan. Tayo ay parang mga tupas na kanyang inaalagaan sa kanyang pastulan. Praise God, hallelujah. Dumulog tayo sa kanya ng may pagsisisi, pagpapasalamat, pagpupuri. Amen, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah.